Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about American politics, and we are going to talk about something pretty sad uh, and pretty distressing. So, so distressing warning here. Uh, what I'm about to talk about today is sad and distressing for every American. Um, it's going to be, you know, pretty secondhand for the rest of the world. You guys, you know, you guys will watch it like you guys will watch it the way we, the way Americans watch war today, right? Like almost like a, like a television show, right? So, but it's going to be firsthand for us in America. So it's really bad. So what am I talking about? Uh, I think Kamala Harris is, in my humble opinion, Kamala Harris's can, uh, candidacy is extremely verdant soil to grow the Ameri the second American Civil War. And uh, I think there's a very high probability we really are going to have an American Civil War if Kamala Harris wins. And so uh, let me, you're like, whoa, what are you talking about, Scott? Yeah, you're right. That's a surprising statement. Uh, let me walk you there. Let's walk there together. Take my hand. All right, here we go. Okay, so um, so I believe the the actual most significant political event in America in 2024 is A24's film Civil War. Absolutely brilliant film. I saw it twice. And you can find quite a bit of coverage right here on my channel. By the way, if you ever wanted to find anything on my channel, uh, Google is amazing. Just put in J. Scott Garibay, J. Space Scott Space Garibay, and then whatever subject you want, and YouTube, it'll come right up, right? So if you want to see the, you know, the video I saw on, uh, the videos I already did on Civil War, that's the easiest way to do it. It's very simple. You should be able to watch them all. Um, and it's a brilliant, brilliant film. But I think it's really important to understand that I don't think that film was a movie. I, I think it was a prediction, right? And a manual. It was like, and it was, I think, I think A24, a non-American company, right, was saying, listen, you guys are clearly going to have a second civil war. And it was a measure of kindness from A24 because they were like, it's going to be terrifying and beautiful. And I think that's a very extremely good description of an American Civil War. Terrifying and beautiful, right? That's what it's going to be. Now, why would it happen? Well, Kamala Harris, there you go. Like, that's the reason it will happen, in my humble opinion. And I think A24 saw this coming. And I think a lot of forces in the world were like, oh, yeah, America is very close to a second civil war. So how would we get a second civil war with Kamala Harris? Well, here's how it would happen. So I could tell you right now, I'm very blessed. I, ha I, know I know good people on both sides. I know good people on the blue side, good people on the red side. And I can tell you on the red, they genuinely believed that there was, uh, that people were not, that the last um, election was hanky. It was like, just not right, like off, right? That, that you know, that people cheated, right? Like, you know, on the red, on, the red believed the blues cheated and that the election was stolen, right? I don't believe that. I really don't believe that, right? Um, but I think the reason why we could easily end up very, almost a guarantee in my humble opinion, right? That we're gonna end up in a second civil war if Kamala wins is Kamala Harris has only one distinctor as a politician, right? She's, she's famous for one thing, right? Joseph Biden like cocked up America, well actually, something that was the president between 2020 and 2024. I think that was an alien, a demon, or an AI. Uh, I don't think Joe, President Joe Biden was. I don't think Joseph Biden was president for a single day. I really don't. I don't think he ever read a single document in front of him during the entire period, right? I think he just signed whatever they put in front of him. Whatever the, the alien, the demon, or the AI put in front of him, uh, he signed it, right? Like, I, I feel very strongly about that. And... So basically, you you arrive at this point where, yeah. So Joe Biden is literally famous, right, for just like screwing up America way worse than Donald Trump ever did, and that shocked everybody because like Donald Trump is is an outrageous, constant liar. His mouth is literally, in my humble opinion, 
allergic to truth. He cannot push truth through his lips. It's it's not possible for him anymore. So, you know, and and so a lot of people were like, "This got to be the worst president we've ever had." And people and and truly, Joe was like, "Hold my beer. Wait until you see how I will take a jackhammer to the American dream. I, you won't even be able to recognize it when I'm done." Right? And and he did. He like and actually it wasn't him. Whatever he allowed to be president during his four years did this horrible thing to human to American humans, right? But Kamala was famous for one thing. Everybody, people would remember Kamala and they go, oh, yeah, Joe's in trouble, man. Like, America's bad. Like, milk costs more than gasoline and no one can buy a house and people talk about car purchases the way we used to talk about house purchases uh, and everything's gone sideways. But, and his numbers are bad, but Kamala's are worse. And so that's how we could very easily, extremely easily, and it, it will pop off like November 3rd, right? Like the day after the election, right? In my humble opinion. Uh, but if Kamala gets elected, I can tell you the Reds are going to be furious. They are going to be furious because they can't believe it. They won't be able to believe it. And I get it. I kind of agree. Like, I, I get it. You hit, you picked Tim Holt, Tim Waltz. Right. You pick some no name uh, governor from a state that people can barely that almost nobody even knows how to spell. Right. And say we're we're trying. It's ludicrous. It's absolute ludicrous. She could have done something. She could. And, and you avoid interviews like the plague and you tell everybody what you thought of me was 100 percent right. And then you're like, oh, I won. Right. Like it like. For four years, it's been a known reality that Joe Biden was going to have a massive time, uh, a massively difficult time getting reelected. The only thing people were more sure of was that Kamala would be worse, that her numbers would be worse. And they will be, right? Like she is headed toward an absolute landslide loss, probably one of the biggest in, in American history. And if that don't happen, I can tell you right now, every red in the country with that long iron in the back of their shot, with that long iron in the back of their pickup, they're going to be ready. And it's going to be on like Donkey Kong. And I think that is why we had, um, that is 100% why 824 was like, we got, we want to give you guys a heads up. You are, you are heading headlong, headlong, headlong into a second civil war. And I, th I think if, if Kamala wins, it's, it's over. It, we, we cooked, uh, it's blues and grays on November 3rd, in my humble opinion, every single word you heard, you just heard is my humble opinion. Um, the important part is when I get to hear your humble opinion, please consider like subscribing and a fetch millennium.